started back in middle school with my best friend. We were on the bus one day, you know, she just turned to me and said, do you know Super Junior? And I was like, no. And then she just shoved her iPod at my face and made me listen to one of their songs. And yeah, that's how the journey began. <laughs> My friend showed me Super Junior's Mr. Simple, right? And I thought it was pretty interesting, but like a year prior to that, I was on YouTube and I accidentally stumbled upon Girls' Generation, except at the time I didn't know that it was K-pop, so I was just like, oh. It wasn't until a year later when my friend had, um, showed me Mr. Simple how I had asked her about Girls' Generation. She's like, yeah, they're K-pop. And I was like, oh, cool. My friend was into it and she tried to get me into it and I wasn't really feeling it. It wasn't until she showed me her favorite group, Big Bang. And what interests me was how they all had different styles and you can just tell, like, you, you wouldn't expect them to be in the same group, per se. Like, they didn't have, like, the same style that all the other groups had where they were all wearing matching outfits, you know, they all looked like they belong in the group. Meanwhile, Big Bang's, you know, unique style spoke to me. And I'm a very, like, I like different stuff. So seeing how different they were from, like, the rest really caught my attention. And just when I heard their music, it was so, like, it spoke to me. My first semester at WCC, it was during the club fair. And I'm just walking around. And I see the anime club table and I just walked to it because why not? And I was wearing a Big Bang shirt that day. And I was like, oh, you like anime, blah, blah, blah. And I know she's wearing a Big Bang shirt. And I'm like, oh, Big Bang. <laughs> and she just looked down and she's like, K-pop. I think she's like, Big Bang, K-pop. I was like, yeah. And then she's like, oh, hey. She's like, I'm so excited. We get all the K-pop fans. And I'm like, OK, she likes K-pop. She's like, oh, really? I was like, yeah. I was like, you should join an anime club. We got like a mix of like anime and K-pop fans. We watch anime every day. Like, you should come with us. So I signed my name so I could see her again. Well, we really became close in Asian culture club. The Japanese soda. She couldn't open it. She's like, how do you open this? It's like, like this. And she's like, oh, I need to go with you places because you know what you're doing. And I was like, oh, OK. <laughs> My first concert was for Big Bang back in 2015. All right, this was like after like one or two years after I got into K-pop and I was really in love with Big Bang. So I begged my mom to get me tickets and she did, right? So I got, a con I got tickets and then the day for the concert came, oh my God, okay. I cannot explain how, much, how nervous I was. Like I was gonna see my heroes. And like, not only that, but you know, like K-pop is like, it's on the other side of the world, so sometimes it's like you don't even know these people are real. You don't even know they exist, right? I've been to KCON, which is basically like, it's supposed to be a convention, but in New York it's more of like a festival because it's outside in the heat in the summer. And that's when they bring a bunch of groups down into the USA. It's John Up singing right this second. It is John Up singing. Oh my lord. You go. Go. Cool. Like, I actually really liked it because instead of just dancing, they had like a storyline with their whole concert. So BAP and Day 6 were one of my best like concert experiences. So high touch is one of the benefits you get for being like a VIP, um, holding a VIP ticket. So with high touch, basically they set up a table and there's there's um there's one side where the artist is so the group and then there's a table between you most of the times and then on the other side you are the fans are there so basically you just like high five them or you can hold their hands depending on how they are most of some of the times it's nice you know when you get to hold their hand you get to and you cry a bit inside <laughs> other times you know they just high five because like the staff is like ruined they're like keep it moving and it's like no Time, 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 time